Where? Well, that building over there. That's where your brother Gary's office is. You'll never guess what's gonna happen to him. That's Valine. You told me they never met. And they haven't. Not till this minute. Um, this is Wallace. Gary Ewing. How do you do? It's very nice to meet you. May I offer you anything? Some coffee? No, nothing, thank you. Well, why don't you have a seat? Um, please. So, how may I help you? Has to do with my late husband's estate. You are able to handle estate law? Of course, why do you ask? Well, you were recommended to me by a friend whose divorce you handled, so I wasn't sure. Esther McKenzie, you remember her? Uh, McKenzie, uh, yes, of course. I'm glad she was pleased. Yes, yeah, she spoke very highly of you. Anyway, uh, my husband's been gone now for almost four years, and I've basically been tied up in litigation ever since. Four years? That's unconscionable. Why? He was a very wealthy man. You might have heard of him. Alton Wallace. Ah, Wallace Industries. Yes, I remember. So why all the problems? Since his death, relatives that no one has ever heard of have been popping out of the woodwork, all of whom seem to have a good reason to challenge the will. He left the estate to you, I take it? Yeah, a portion. The balance was left to foundations and charities. Of course, by the time all this is settled, the only real winners are going to be the attorneys. I'm sorry. I'm not sure that sounded the way that I meant it. <laughs> no, I understand your point. <laughs> you know what they call a hundred lawyers in front of a firing squad? No, what? A start. Oh. <laughs> then you do understand. <laughs> The question is, can you help me? Well, I'd like to try. I'll need a copy of the will and the information on the proceedings so far. Well, I'll have that delivered tomorrow. You still use the name Wallace. I take it you never remarried. No. I think you're lucky to find the right partner once. Never mind twice. Mm. Still, you never know. No, you never do. Esther told me that you've never been married. Well, I haven't been lucky the first time. As you say, you never know. Hmm. Um, there's going to be an awful lot of paperwork to plow through once it gets here. Um, perhaps if you had some time now, we could go into it in greater detail. Fine. I have nothing pressing. You do understand that if we sit here in my office and talk, I'm going to have to bill you. And out of the office. I want my own. Perhaps a drink somewhere. Uh, don't drink, never have, but um, dinner. Now, there's a chance to get some talking done. But not French. I hate French. Well, I was just thinking how good Italian sounded. Does, doesn't it? Shall we? I think perhaps we shall. He's not going to end up with that southern trash. She's not the same hash house waitress you remember. <laughs> she couldn't have changed that much. You are a hard man. But just don't tell me he's going to marry her again. I'm not going to tell you anything except that things work out the way they were meant to. As you shall soon see. Yeah.